Yesterday morning was the first inkling we'd had from uh, contact from the food safety uh, authorities in Ireland. And what steps did you take at that stage? Well, we immediately gathered as much information as we could, both from our supplier and from the food safety authorities in Ireland, in order to make a determination on whether to take these products off sale, and pretty quickly came to the conclusion that since there, there seemed to be very good evidence from our colleagues in the food safety authorities that it, it was the sensible and precautionary thing to do to withdraw those products from sale. Do you know how many of those products containing uh, those traces of, of horse meat were actually sold? Um, not s we know that there are two batches implicated in the survey done by the authorities and we don't know how many of those products have been sold. Our investigation of the supplier will cover in great detail exactly what happened who was responsible for it and just exactly how long this has been going on. It's critical that we get to the bottom of those facts to ensure that it never happens again. This is a, it's one of those curious I should have started by apologising to our customers. We're very sorry this has happened for any distress that might have been caused to them and that's why we took the precaution of withdrawing all those products from that site and we will not take products from that site until this investigation has reached a satisfactory conclusion.